Hello and welcome. Canada is celebrating its first Ganesh festival with Indian Times Daily as its media partners. The event, which is from September 13th to 15th, is being hosted at Great Punjab Plaza, 2980 Drew Road, Mississauga, Ontario. We invite all our viewers to join us and attend this auspicious and joyous occasion we are a part of. Wishing all the viewers of Indian Times Daily a very happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Hello and welcome. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for global Indians. We broadcast news from India, Canada, Punjab and Gujarat in English, Punjabi and Gujarati languages. And our portal and apps have a list of well-established businesses and resources that every global Indian needs. I'm Preena Sharma and today's headlines are... In India, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has denied to have met fugitive business tycoon Vijay Malia. And the SC has sought details of criminal cases pending against MPs and MLAs. In Punjab, the Apex Court will hear a review petition in Minister Navjot Singh Sidhu's road rage case. And the SGPC has demanded strict action against blasphemy on social media. In Canada, the country is ready to allow the US limited dairy access. And a bill to cut the size of the Toronto Council is expected. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, Canada and Punjab. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are Fugitive business tycoon Vijay Malaya wanted in India for his alleged role in a multi-crore bank loan fraud case has sought to drag Finance Minister Arun Jaitley into controversy. Malaya claimed that he met Jaitley before he left the country in 2016, which the minister called factually false. The SC has asked 25 states and union territories and the high courts to place before it full and complete updated information about the status of cases pending against MPs and MLAs. The affidavit said that a total of 1,233 criminal cases were transferred to the special court. Of these, 136 have been disposed of and remaining 1,097 were pending. Indian Air Force Chief Marshal B.S. Dhanoa has said that the IF needed to upgrade its fighter jet fleet urgently. He added that the government, by providing the Rafale and the S-400 air defence missile, is trending the IAF to counter the shortfall of depleting numbers. India has inked two agreements with the Rakhine state government in Myanmar, the seat of the Rohingya exodus. The agreements entered into will facilitate capacity building and economic development in Rakhine state. The cabinet has approved a new procurement policy. Under this, one scheme will focus on compensating oilseed farmers if rates fall below the MSP and another one will allow the state to rope in private players for procurement. Kota Sparehead Hardik Patel has ended his hunger strike after 19 days. There have, however, been no talks between him and the Gujarat government over the leader's demands for reservation to partidars and farm loan waivers. A Delhi court has granted bail to former Air Force Chief SP Tyagi and others. This is in a money laundering case related to the Augusta Westland BVIP chopper scam. Suspected militants opened fire on police personnel on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway. No casualties have been reported in the incident. Former India hockey captain Sardar Singh has decided to call time on his illustrious career. He stated that he had played enough in the last 12 years and now it was time for the youngsters to take over. A court has directed the police to lodge an FIR against actor Salman Khan and the cast and crew of upcoming Bollywood film Love Ratri. This is on the basis of a complaint that the title and contents of the movie had hurt the Hindu sentiment. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as news from Punjab and Canada follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are The Supreme Court will take up a petition seeking review in Minister Navjot Singh Sidhu's road rage case. The Apex Court had in its 15th May order let Sidhu off with a fine of 1000 rupees for voluntarily causing harm to deceased which prescribes a maximum punishment of one year. The SGPC will initiate legal action against people who indulge in blasphemous acts on social media. It has also approached the cyber cell to investigate a Facebook ID, which had posted objectionable remarks and mock photos depicting Sikh Guru. The nun who had accused a Roman Catholic bishop of raping her has sought intervention of the Vatican in the matter. The nun has also demanded removal of the accused as head of Jalanda Diocese. She questioned the church for closing its eyes to the truth. The SAD is facing an uphill task in the forthcoming Zilla Parishad and Panchayat Samiti elections after being cornered over the Justice Ranjit Singh Commission report. The problem is more serious in areas that witness sacrilege incidents, protests and subsequent police action. 
In fighting between Aam Aadmi Party leader Sukhpal Singh Khaira and Harpal Chima groups is witnessing a ceasefire in the run up to the elections. The Khaira group has not put up separate candidates asking its supporters to vote and support official Aam Aadmi Party nominee. The Justice Mehtab Singh Gill Commission has said that action has been taken on majority of complainants being investigated. The commission is investigating false cases registered during the 10 year SAD BJP rule. Till now 272 cases out of 346 complaints have been probed. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has paid tributes to the heroes of the historic Sara Gadi battle. Amrinder has exhorted the youth to imbibe values of courage and valor in themselves. He claimed that the government has announced a series of initiatives as a mark of homage to the valiant soldiers of Sara Gadi battle. Governor VP Singh Badnor has praised the efforts of Gurdaspur farmers. He said that among all the districts of Punjab, Gurdaspur had taken a lead in eradicating the problem of stubble burning. Rajasthan has refused to shift militant Harnik Singh Bhup from Central Jail of Jaipur to Punjab prison. This is a setback to the state government's efforts to get Sikh convicts released or moved to Punjab's jail. Comedian Kapil Sharma is returning to the film industry as a producer of a Punjabi film titled Son of Manjeet Singh. He shared the film's first look on social media where one can see Gurpreet Guggi holding another actor who plays his son in the film. I'll be back. Stay logged on to indiantimesdaily.com as since from Canada follows. Welcome back to indiantimesdaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are Sources have claimed that Canada is ready to offer the US limited access to the Canadian dairy market as a concession in negotiations to rework the NAFTA. US President Donald Trump said that trade talks with Canada were going well and that Ottawa wants to make a deal. Ontario Premier Doug Ford is expected to recall the legislature today to reintroduce a bill that would slash the Toronto City Council after a judge struck down the legislation. Lawyers for the city of Toronto are looking for ways to challenge Ford's plans to use the notwithstanding clause. The federal government has been slammed for forcing many injured veterans to wait for months longer to find out if they qualify for disability benefits and other supports. Veterans were promised 16 weeks to know whether they're eligible for financial assistance. Canadian postal workers have voted in favor of strike action with the union president saying that members are overworked. The Canadian Union of Postal Workers has warned that the strike could happen as early as September 26, shutting down mail delivery. The wait time for a refugee claim hearing in Canada has increased more than a third over the past 2 years to 19 months. The Immigration and Refugee Board has only managed to finalize 15% of the 27,674 asylum claims. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh kicked off his party's caucus meetings in BC by admitting that he needs to do a better job of communicating with Canadians. Singh's task over the next year will be to paint the Liberals as elitist and out of touch while listing what the NDP would do better. Environmental advocacy group Greenpeace Canada is turning to the courts in an effort to halt the Ontario government's plan to scrap the province's cap and trade system. The challenge alleges that the Ford government failed to consult the public to end the cap and trade program. Canada's finance minister Bill Marno has said that the government is not ruling out cutting country's corporate taxes to better respond to increased competition from the US. Marno said that his plan to respond to tax changes in the US will be released with the fall economic update. The Humboldt Broncos will pay their first home opener against the Nepawin Hawks after the tragic bus accident which killed 16 people including 10 players. The Broncos were on their way to play the Hawks in a playoff game on April 6. when the bus and a tractor trailer collided. Actor Eric Peterson will reprise his street legal role of Leon Robinowitz on an upcoming reboot of the 1987 Canadian courtroom drama Street Legal. Original cast member Cynthia Dale will also be back in her role as Olivia Nova. This is the end of the news bulletin but stay tuned to indiantimesdaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city, all of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Vakr Tund Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurme Deva Sarvakaryeshu Sarvada
Actor Ali Fazal, who just completed the shooting of Tigman Chudhulia's magnum opus, Milan Talkies, joined hands with world's largest cleft charity, Smile Train, as an ambassador to create awareness and support for children born with clefts across the country. In a way, Ali Fazal joined Ashwara Rai Bachchan, who is a global goodwill ambassador of Smile Train. Talking about his collaboration, Ali said, I'm very, very happy. I was looking forward to this moment. Um, and I think it's very important. Not just because I'm an actor or a celebrity, hu, I think because we are on a visual platform, that's why it's our responsibility. Hai. And I think I can make a difference. And I'm very happy that they chose me to be able to make that difference uh, in some way or the other. Earlier, during the Smile Train, Ashwarya said in a statement, I am proud to be associated with Smile Train for all these years and extend my heartfelt congratulations to them for changing the lives of half a million cleft patients in India. Supporting this work of Smile Train through the Ashwara Rai Foundation has been my small personal contribution in the larger picture of honourable, effective change in the lives of cleft patients. Bollywood Khiladi Akshay Kumar is giving one hit movie after another, his last being Gold, and now it seems he is set to give yet another super hit film, Kesari. As a Sikh in Saffron Turban, Akshay Kumar nails his look in his next film, Kesari. The movie basically revolves around the battle of Saragari. Akshay Kumar shared his look on his Twitter handle and wrote, On Saragari day, here's the first look of Kesari, our humble tribute to the martyrs of Saragari. Aaj mere pagri bhi Kesari, jo bahega mera wo lahu bhi Kesari, aur mera jawab bhi Kesari. While trade analyst Karan Adarsh shared another poster confirming the releasing date, he tweeted, Mark the date 21st March 2019. Akshay Kumar, first look poster of Kesari. Kumar will be joined by Parneeti Chopra as a female lead in the movie. Produced by Karan Johar and directed by Anurag Singh, Kesari will hit the screens on March 21st, 2019. Actress Murnal Thakur, known to Indian telly buffs as the lead actress of Kum Kum Bhagya, is making her film debut with Love Sonia, a hard-hitting drama on human trafficking. A special screening was held from Murnal's television buddies, who gave their best wishes to the actor and stated how they loved the trailer. See here how some celebs reacted. Karan Vahi. She is a rock star now. Yeah? She is growing day by day and it's so good because you know, uh, you keep doing uh, good work and I think uh, good and creative work gets you more work and I think that's what uh, she's uh, setting an example and uh, we're all happy that she's uh, doing very very well. Prithvik Dhanjani. I genuinely, I love Sonia. I love Sonia very much. We love Sonia very much. We love Sonia very much. And I'm so happy that she's starting with this project. And uh, I think what better project to be a part of than this. I think it's a better, better debut. Uh, ho sakta. Karan Veer Bhara. We are very scared. This is ke, one of those kind of movies. Yeah, ke, we should not make too many dark movies. But I think uh, reality and the truth should be told. And uh, the way they have said it, I mean, Tabriz, uh, directorial debut. Uh, wishing him all the best. And my buddy's dead. Uh, not directorial, but my buddy's debut in movies. Really, Munal, wish you all the best. Rashmi Desai. Mujhe bahut acha laga and all my favorite actors are there. Manoj Bajpayee, Richa Chadda, and bahut saare. I can't name them. And uh, yes, I I think the film is a little heavy, but as a bahut saare kisse aur vardat jaise hume aapki news language mein vardat kehte hain. So as you bahut saare incident hote hain India mein. Uh, I think it's an eye-opener. Shabir Aluwalia. All the best. Uh, just go for it. And uh, I'm, I'm wishing all the best. I'm really, really happy for her. Love Sonia is a story of a 17-year-old girl who risks her life to rescue her sister from a vicious human trafficking network across India, Hong Kong and Los Angeles. Looks like the love triangle between actors Vicky Khoshal, Tafsi Pannu and Abhishek Bachchan is going down pretty well among the celebrities as their reviews is making us even more eager to watch the movie. Whereas customary Sina Bachchan has sent handwritten notes to Vicky and Tafsi, there are some others who have tweeted their reviews. Check them out here. Vicky Khoshal shared Amitabh Bachchan's note and wrote, This means the world to me. Thank you Amitabh Bachchan sir for this handwritten letter of appreciation and bouquet. Man Marziya. While Tapsi wrote, finally this letter, a milestone achieved. Huma Qureshi, can someone reintroduce me to bad boy with endearing smile Vicky Koshal? Abhishek Bachchan is the guy every woman needs but not one everyone deserves. And Tapsi is such a pataka. Man Marziya was seen last night. Saqib Salim, Man Marziya gives us three real, lovable yet flawed characters. Robbie, Rumi and Sandhu Kalarka win you over. Kanika, bahut maza aya. 
Meanwhile, Manmarzia will release on 14th September, clashing with Jackie Bhagnani's Mitro. Last month, rumours claimed that Bhagi 2 actress Disha Bhatti was offered a Yash Raj film alongside actors Hrithik Roshan and Tiger Shroff and that she walked out of the project upon a flirtatious Hrithik Roshan. However, later, Roshan slammed some of these media reports who accused him of such behaviour, whereas Disha too refuted to any such allegations made on them. Now, Tiger Shroff, who is alleged to be Disha Bhatti's boyfriend, responds to those reports calling them silly. He said, I think part and parcel there. I think every star, not just Hrithik sir, faces that. I think uh, if once you're in the limelight, you know, you become an easy target. Halanki it was silly rumor. And I know know both of them very well. So, you know, they're nothing like that. I mean, they're both lovely humans. Besides, Shroff has signed an untitled project with Hrithik, where he claims not just action, but a dance face-off is a possibility. We haven't really uh, created that song yet. But there's an interesting situation in the film where, you know, both of us come together on the dance. Clarifying further reports of signing a movie with Sanjalila Bansali, he said, uh, you, you know, he was just kind enough to uh, sort of meet me, but uh, we haven't, there's nothing that's been official or anything. Just, you know, a courtesy meeting and uh, I'm a big fan of his work. Tiger Shroff was interacting with the media at the launch of Macho's new collection, Macho Hint, as the brand ambassador on Tuesday.